As we celebrate New Year 2024, the events of last year paint a concerning picture of the global geopolitical landscape spiraling from bad to worse. The year 2023 reshaped global geopolitics in ways unseen in recent history. The world map as we know it has been dappled with a series of events, each adding a new shade of complexity to the global canvas. 2023 was a turbulent year, marked by escalating tensions and significant geopolitical shifts. Our world it seems is in a constant state of flux, and year 2023 was no exception. Join us on this captivating journey, as we delve deep into the relentless chronicles that shaped the fabric of our world in 2023. The BRICS nations expanded, intensifying the geopolitical shifts. On August 24th, the bloc announced the additional of six new members starting in 2024. This marked a key shift in geopolitical relations as the bloc added major oil-producing countries, Saudi Arabia, Iran and the United Arab Emirates along with Egypt, Ethiopia and Argentina. The anti-West sentiments gained momentum, echoing calls for de-dollarization. This trend has recently gained traction as nations aim to diversify their foreign exchange reserves, mitigate currency risks, and assert greater monetary autonomy. De-dollarization presents various challenges and potential benefits to both the United Nations and the global economy. While some sources claim an exaggeration in the trend toward de-dollarization, it is acknowledged that a certain degree of de-dollarization is unavoidable, as wealth becomes more evenly distributed worldwide. A future with reduced dependence on the dollar appears inevitable, although the extent of de-dollarization might be a matter of choice. This expansion has profound implications, threatening to disrupt the global alliances and balance of power that have long been established. Simultaneously, South America's geopolitical scene was marked by heightened tensions. The conflict between Guyana and Venezuela escalated, with a recent referendum adding fuel to the fire. The latest arrival of the Royal Navy patrol ship HMS Trent worsened the situation. In response, the Venezuela government deployed nearly 6,000 troops until the British vessel leaves the waters off the coast of the two South American nations. Tension seems to be exacerbating the question now is, what's next for Venezuela and Guyana? The two nations stands at a crossroads with future uncertain. These developments both in the BRICS nations and South America, represent significant shifts in the global geopolitical landscape and have further complicated the global geopolitical landscape. Tensions flared in the Middle East and Far East with the Israel-Hamas conflict and escalating South China Sea conflict. As we journey through the year, we see a marked increase in hostilities, with these regions becoming flashpoints of global concern. In the Middle East, the Israel-Hamas conflict took a turn for the worse. On October 7, a sudden and deadly attack by Hamas sparked a fierce response from Israel. The retaliation involved a blockade of Gaza and the West Bank, further escalating the situation. This was later succeeded by Houthi rebel assaults on shipping routes within the Bab el-Mandeb Strait in the Red Sea. The international community, alarmed by the escalating violence, has several times called for a ceasefire and urgent humanitarian intervention. However, these calls have fallen on deaf ears, as the conflict continued unabated, raising questions about the stability of the Middle East and its effect on the broader geopolitical landscape. Meanwhile, thousands of miles away in the Far East, the South China Sea became a hotbed of conflict. A multitude of nations, each with their own vested interests and territorial claims, clashed over the resource-rich waters. This escalating conflict has far-reaching implications, not just for the countries directly involved, but for the entire world. The tensions have prompted comparisons to a new Cold War dynamic, hinting at a potential shift in global power dynamics and stability. The consequences of these conflicts stretch far beyond their immediate geographical boundaries. They have the potential to redraw the global political map, affecting economies, alliances, and global stability. The international community watches with bated breath as these events unfold, hoping for peaceful resolutions, but preparing for the possibility of a further escalation. The Middle East and the Far East, two regions historically known for their complex political landscapes, have in 2023 become focal points of global tension. The Israel-Hamas conflict and the South China Sea disputes are not isolated incidents but part of a larger pattern of escalating geopolitical tensions. These conflicts have not only intensified regional tensions, but also sent shockwaves through the global geopolitical arena. 
From Africa's heartland to the far reaches of North Korea, conflicts resurged and military advancements were unveiled. In the northeast of Africa, Sudan once again found itself mired in conflict. The peace efforts in Darfur tragically fell short, reigniting a conflict with deep-seated origins. This resurgence has not only sparked a humanitarian crisis but also threatens to destabilize the entire region, casting a long shadow over the future of Northeast African stability. In contrast, Russia's unveiling of the RS-28 Sarmat missile system showcased the nation's military prowess. This powerful, intercontinental ballistic missile has significant implications for global power dynamics, demonstrating Russia's enhanced military capabilities and reinforcing its position on the world stage. Meanwhile, North Korea launched a successful intercontinental ballistic missile towards Japan. This brazen act has escalated tensions in East Asia, stoking global fears about North Korea's nuclear ambitions. On the other side of the globe, Poland has emerged as a significant military power. The nation has substantially increased its military spending and has plans to bolster its army further. This development has altered Poland's role within the European Union and has the potential to shift regional dynamics. This increased military spending is not unique to Poland. Indeed, it reflects a global trend. Many countries have significantly increased their defense budgets, suggesting an anticipation of potential conflicts and a desire to reinforce defenses. Yet, even as nations build up their military capabilities they grapple with internal unrest. Europe in particular has witnessed protests and unrest due to pension reforms and anti-police sentiment. New immigration laws have also been a point of contention, leading to further instability. France for example has had to refocus its international engagements and concentrate more within the EU. These events have further escalated global tensions, sparking concerns about the future of geopolitics. The world now stands at a crossroads, looking towards 2024 with uncertainty and apprehension. As these events continue to unfold, the geopolitical landscape remains ever-changing and volatile. As we say goodbye to year 2023, we reflect on the collective impact of these events on global geopolitics. Year 2023 has been a whirlwind of escalating tensions, geopolitical shifts, and a stark reminder that the world's political landscape is anything but static. From the expansion of BRICS to the resurgence of conflict in Sudan, each event has sent ripples across the globe, altering alliances, balance of power, and the very fabric of international relations. As we cast our gaze towards the future uncertainties loom large, the events of 2023 have set the stage for a potentially turbulent 2024. How will the global community respond to the call for de-dollarization? What will be the long-term implications of increased military spending and emerging power dynamics? And most importantly, how will nations navigate this complex labyrinth of geopolitics to maintain global stability? As we step into 2024, the world watches with bated breath, hoping for stability amid the chaos that was 2023. Thanks for watching.